Hi, my name is Kevin, and I'm one of the co-founders of WordBot. And today I'm going to go through and show how we can take existing text and either rewrite an article, um, a paragraph, uh, multiple paragraphs using WordBot's artificial intelligence powered by OpenAI's GPT-3. If you haven't had a chance, uh, you can go to our website, wordbot.io, and we have a seven-day free trial that has no restrictions, um, cancel at any time. Uh, it allow you to do anything as far as rewriting sentences, paragraphs, uh, summarizing long articles from websites. You can also do some keyword extractions and some good, uh, uh, great other things. If you haven't got a chance, you can go over to our blog. It's uh, blog.wordbot.io. And we also have some, some articles that can kind of either guide you through other things that our business does or just other things that we're working on inside the business. So let me go ahead and get started here. First thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and sign in. And you, we uh, have Facebook and Google login available, so this will make it a lot easier if you don't wanna to have to use your email or anything. And once you sign in, if you haven't already been in the um, new design, um, we, have updated our back end um, page for end users to be able to not only create new folders, but categorize those and move those into different sections. So you could be either working on different, um, different ideas, across different teams, uh, things like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the editor here. And the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to take this article from uh, Wikipedia and I'm going to take the first section of this. And I'm going to copy it. And what you can then do is go inside the editor and you can work out of this as well. So, um, you know, we have, you know, uh, the ability to italicize, bold, change the, um, you know, H1, H2 tags. And this is a great way to, you know, write using artificial intelligence and then copy this into either your blog or, you know, your Word document. And we have ways of saving that and exporting it as well. So as you can see, uh, once you copy and paste from certain websites, you'll get some links and embedded um, information. What we're going to do, go ahead and clean that up is copy it and just press this little button here. It's going to take all that out of there. And we can go ahead and, you know, clean up some of these misspellings here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says entire article and what it's going to, it's going to highlight it. And then I'm going to click paraphrase here. So what this is going to do is going to take sentence by sentence and come up with three different variations of it. Now, depending on the context of the sentence, you may not get a completely new sentence. Sometimes that's by design, depending on, uh, how the sentences were uh, worded or the context of the sentence. You do, sometimes you don't want too much change or it can con skew, or skew the meaning of what's going on. But as you can see here, um, the original sentence, Yasmin Miller, born 24th May 1995, is a British track and field athlete who was, has competed in sprint and hurdle events. Now, as you can see at the bottom, we have some differences. Um, now, you may see the uh, punctuation change, uh, where it's a uh, lowercase. Those will be put back in once you uh, go through all the sentences here. So I'm just going to look through here and see. Um, let's just go ahead and do this one here. So we, we're going to go with Yasmin Miller was born on May in Great Britain. In Great Britain has competed in sprint and hurdle events. So what you do is you just select it and you go to the next sentence up here. And she's competed in 100 meter hurdles for Great Britain at the age of 16 at the 2011 World Youth Championships in Athletics. And so what you'll see is on our tool, we have uh, the green, which says that this is a new word. And then the in the blue, that means that the uh, word was either uh, reordered around from a various part of the text. So, um, you know, not to go too deep into uh, all the sentences here, but you can kind of see how 
you know, these are, you know, slightly different from the original text here. So, you know, she competed in the 100 meter hurdles. This one has, she had competed in the 100 meter hurdles for Great Britain at the 2011 World Youth Championships in athletics at the age of 16. So, so it's reordered a bit to, um, you know, kind of paraphrase how it was originally written. Um, some of these um, words can even be changed out for, uh, you know, different variations of what it means. But, you know, we can talk about that here in a second. So I'm just going to go through some of these here real quick. So this one also is a shorter, briefer version. So she won the same event at that year's Commonwealth Youth Games and was also a member of the winning 4x100 meter relay team. She was on the winning 4x100 relay team at the Commonwealth Youth Games. So that's a good rewritten um, sentence there. Um, completely you know, different from the original, um, in a sense. And like I said, some of those things can't be changed out. I mean, you can't, you know, the Commonwealth Youth Games is the game she competed in. You wouldn't want that uh, typically changed or this sentence would then no longer be valid and true. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch that one up. I like the shorter variation of that. And then she had accomplished the latter success in the 2013 European. So I like that there. So instead of she repeated, she had accomplished. And then another another long one here. So Miller has enjoyed some success as Nash by winning two bronze and two silver in the 60 meters in the British indoor. So I think I'm gonna go, gonna go with uh, this last one here. I like the, the variation of changes where it says Miller's success of national level hurling has been achieved instead of just saying Miller has enjoyed some success. So now once you got all those selected, just go ahead and click on the X there at the top. All of those will be changed. And as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and paste our original text down below. So you can see the changes that we have, you know, lots of changes, um, you know, from, you know, let me go ahead and take these out again. So once so Yaz Miller born, this one, Yala Miller was born on May 24th, 1995 in Great Britain and competed in sprint and hurdle events. Now, this one says, you know, in field who has competed in sprint and hurdle. So, you know, you got some changes there. And the great thing about this is that took less than a couple of minutes. Um, you know, you were able to throw it into our editor, run the paraphraser and then come out. And now you can go in and make some additional edits that you would want to change, whether it be different words, um, you know, different, um, more text. So now that you have, uh, you know, say different, you know, variation from the original text, you may want to come in and add some additional sentences in between, depending on the type of research that you're doing, whether this is for a new paper, um, a blog article, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I like that there. I'm going to go ahead and take that out. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. So I have what are called folders that are already created. If you haven't ever created any folders, you could just put it in the uncategorized. And I'm just going to call it Yasmin Miller. We can go ahead and save that. And what we're going to do is go back to my home and... I have where under uncategorized Yasmin Miller. So I'm going to go ahead and track and field article. I'm going to create that. Then I can come here, take this, and you see the Yasmin Miller two section. That that's because I was working on something with this from yesterday uh, for a blog article that I'll be posting um, alongside this video as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click the three. Let's go here, move this into. Go back to my uncategorized. Okay, so sorry, yep. So actually, um, checking it, you don't have to check it. I must, you know, usually I already put it in the folders that I typically 
um, work out of. So instead of having to check it off, it was saying it was thinking we're going to work with multiple ones. So you just have to go to the side there and hit move and then put it in a folder that you want, which was track and field article move. And now we have our article in there. Now, if I go back to the editor, I'm going to still have that in there, but let's say, you know, I clear that out and I want to go back and, you know, work on this, you know, I can go and just click edit and it's going to put my information back. Uh, I can export this. So, you know, say I'm working on an article, you know, that's outside of this, I can download it as HTML or text or email it to myself. But I'm going to go ahead and keep working out of here. So let's say, you know, I go back to this article and I want to now do more information. So let's say this is a longer amount of text that you're working with. Our editor gives you the ability to still work without having to change this information up here again. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up again. Uh, you know, I might even... Go ahead and then I'm just going to highlight this section I want to work with. So I'm only going to highlight this. And then I'm just going to click paraphrase. Now as you're going to see it says nine sentences. So I'm just going to run through this real quick here. We, we understand what these do now. I'm just going to just pick a couple. Just to kind of see so this is just shows you that the ability for it to change sentence by sentence is is great because then it can it can just take the context of the sentence that it's working with in hand and try and find different ways to rewrite it so it's going to kind of bring these up but you know that's fine um you know we can then go ahead and edit some of these so, you know, we got different paragraphs. Um, and in our editor, we're, we're still working on a lot of this stuff. That's why we're currently running a um, free uh, a beta. That's um, 99 cents a month for uh, the lifetime of, of when you sign up. So, you know, there's no restrictions to that. We don't currently have any, you know, uh, thing that limits you to what you can do. Uh, you will see some of the things change where, you know, you, you might see the uh, highlighted differences of what changed. So if you have any questions or even, you know, recommendations, our support tab here, let me go ahead and save this. So this went ahead and saved it. And then now I can come back and work on this at any time. And then you can even continue to edit out of this as well. So, you know, let's say, you know, I got a track and field. You know, I can bold that, make that a heading. So you can write your articles out inside of this as well. So it's, you know, a great editor, not only to, you know, rewrite sentences, but to also to continue to work out as well. And I'll go through some of these other tools in another video. But um, this is just a quick video to show you how uh, artificial intelligence and WordBots um, AI can help increase the speed of uh, rewriting text and articles. Um, for either, like I said, your blogs, um, any uh, other type of essays or papers you're working on. So, you know, check out the uh, our blog, like I said, for other new tips and tricks that we have coming. Uh, again, thanks for listening and uh, have a good time.